long the video is. It's, it's like, like I forty-six think the, seconds. The, the, oh, it's out. It's out yeah, short. Yeah, you just you just okay. put in a little clip of it or something. I was gonna say if it was long enough and and goofy enough, like it'd be fun to riff as well. But uh, mm -hmm. obviously, that's not going to. I don't think that's something you're supposed to riff, though, honey. I think it's meant well, to be laughed Well, it's that. supposed to be stupid. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard Wait, to riff, riff something that's meant to be bad. Pardon, pardon me. What's riffing? Um, like, when you watch something and make fun of it, like, have you ever seen the show Mystery Science Theater 3000? Or, or heard of I it don't think, I don't believe so. Um, so, Let's Plays like this are essentially inspired by the idea of riffing, which mostly comes from Mystery Science Theater 3000, of watching mm -hmm. a movie or a TV show or something that is, if not, if it's not terrible, it's at least not very good. And oh, you just you okay. just make so funny it's like, commentary. It's like basically reacting if it was good. Yeah, it's like reacting if it was good because that's um, I did some videos. I want to get back to doing them again. I actually did two episodes of um, vaudeville riffs, uh, Speed Racer. I want to do a series where it's vaudeville ripping. Uh, Speed Racer. Yes. Yeah. He's awesome. But it's you a cheesy part too. Like it's just in general, it's just cheesy, goofy stuff like that. And I wanted to have okay. vaudeville like just riffing cheesy cartoons and stuff like that. And I had mm -hmm. him rip the first two oh. episodes. Well, he died. You and, know what that um, reminds me of? Yeah. Do you, are you familiar with the YouTuber I Hate Everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's funny. Hmm. Isn't that what he... Isn't that kind of what he does? Like, he has this series which is the worst of the worst, um, I think it's called? Well, or yes the, and no. No, again, it's, no, wait, it's the search for the worst, I'm sorry. In it's a way, the even the then, he's still, like, he's doing a review. Um, I think the bet, like, for instance, like, when I did, like, the, the vaudeville riffs thing, um, mm -hmm. I was watching the, the cartoon and making commentary yep. on it, like, making jokes about it as I watched. And so, like, Jasmine wanted, wants to get involved so we can do it, like, as vaudeville and Dolores. Mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, we're going to watch the first episode and I'm going to kind of show you how to do this. So as we're watching, she's like, oh man, this is so bad. Ha ha, look at that guy. He said, no, it, you've got to be able to make jokes. Hey, like, hey, don't call me out. That's embarrassing. No, that's what everyone does Jeez. when they first. That's I, what everyone does when they first I'm do it. I'm not embarrassed. No, don't be embarrassed. I'm saying that's Aww. what everyone does. Like, everyone, when they watch it, goes, like, oh, this is bad. Ha ha, look at that guy. But, and I, I, said, but, I, don't, but I don't want to be everyone. I want to be, I, I I know, be the I'm funny kid. Let me finish the story. I'm getting to the point. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Go on, go on, go on. So I said, when riffing, you're not just making commentary you you want to make jokes you're being a comedian creating comedy material based on what you're seeing so you don't want to just do what everyone would say you want to try to think of something unique that's funny so as we're watching those she's going okay i think i get the idea and she's watching and then this guy appears who has like this itty bitty tiny little charlie chaplin mustache and as when oh, he appears God. when he appears the first thing she says is who stole half that guy's mustache <laughs> And I was like, now see, that's funny. That's <laughs> riffing. It's like creating a unique joke. You're like, okay, that's that's really clever. I love you, kid, but your father stole half of my money. That's what, yeah, because they're they're praising Speed Racer's car, and he says, uh, who built it? My dad did. And he says, your dad's a great mechanic. I was like, yeah, but he's, he's a great mechanic, but he's but why did he still have my mustache? <laughs> <laughs> we have to we have to yeah, try that I, again sometime. Mm -hmm. I. I, I had a I had a mild panic attack when you mentioned anything about a character with a John and Chapman mustache. <laughs> well, there's the tweet. obvious <laughs> joke. Oh. <laughs> there's the obvious joke there, but no, that's, that and that's we're like, not gonna make here because this is child friendly. Yes. Yeah, there was yes. no way I was gonna make that kind of joke, yeah. man. No, I mean, again, yeah. granted, and now, admittedly, here in the states, it's not as much as a, as a touchy subject and everything. I mean, because I know, like, when I first when when I first did the riff. Um, my own comment when the guy appeared just because I just, he kind of pops up. There was no, like, you know, way of knowing he was coming. And my first thought, my, as Bobby, I just went, what, we got Hitler over here? Like, which is the first thing I said. There you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, again, here in the States, that's not, you know, quite yeah, as touchy I know, subject. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. and so it just would have been like, oh, why, why does he look like that? You know, um, yeah. but again, but in general. It, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it, wouldn't it also be kind of out of character for Vaudeville? No, because Vaudeville, I mean, again, Vaudeville's just going to comment. He's going to say, yeah, that's what that guy kind of looks like because of the mustache. And to be fair, like, the guy kind of has the same kind of facial shape and stuff. He does kind of look yeah. like him. <laughs> um, Wait, but is, isn't, isn't Vaudeville, like, from the early 40s or 30s? Vaudeville, Vaudeville would be... 
Oh, 20s. He would have actually, he would technically be from before that because the idea was he was a vaudeville entertainer and the actual era of vaudeville was before the 20s. Um, oh, it's before the 20s even. But okay. Yeah, it actually would predate animation. Um, and kind of so, the... Wait, but is it is it like um, vaudeville while being from that era, he still has seen everything that went down on this earth? Well, here's the idea with vaudeville is, of course, I go mm -hmm. with the idea that like the idea that cartoon characters, it's like a Roger Rabbit thing. Cartoon characters, you know, are alive. You know, they're they're mm -hmm. people. It's just a race of a race of. Well, I don't want to say human. <laughs> There's something else, but whatever they are, you know. But um, they, you what know, what species are you? Yeah, you know, I am cartoon. A two, yeah. I mean, that's that's why we were joking about like you know when Roger Rabbit, you got Jessica and Roger are married, and no one questions. Oh wait, like, like, wait, Jess, Jess, Jess yes. has another another chance to use her voice. Oh, it was the, the stupid pizza thing again. <laughs> But oh. um, no, I, I, I want to do it. Already, you already read that one. I want to read again. Okay. Um, <laughs> if he can get up. Did you know that you can do a pile driver, driver by holding an enemy and pressing down right in the air? Question mark. You can also perform a pile driver that will boost you up when you, you hold up before grabbing an enemy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she was getting excited at the she end. Was. <laughs> um, so no, I, it's, it's like in Roger Rabbit, like, you know, no one questions Roger and mm -hmm. Jessica being married, because like, oh, they're tunes, they, 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 it's, it all works, you know, um, so the idea is like, yeah, tunes, like, they, pre like, tunes existed before cartoon, like, film existed, you know, like, humans existed before film existed, you know, kind of thing, um, mm -hmm. so Vaudeville's been around the whole time, and I like to make the implication that he's even older than that, like, Vaudeville has just always been there. So mm -hmm. yeah, he would he would know of, he would know about World War II. In fact, I I think I've made an implication that he was actually in the war or something at one point. To be because be totally one hundred percent honest, I don't know. What he is. Dude, pick him up. That's disgusting. They're just laying there. Pick what up? What? The beans. Oh, the beans. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You can't just spill the beans and then just let them leave them laying around on the floor. <laughs> I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> what the hell, dude? I'll grab the tortillas. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice of floor tacos. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Speaking of beans, we should actually get some real food. It's like 7.30 over here. It is. Maybe, yeah. do maybe don't get refried beans with sick on it. We don't have any refried beans. Which is a problem we clearly need to rectify. Matthew, Wait, you've never had refried beans? No, she says we don't have any, like, we don't have any at the moment. I see. Yeah. I love refried beans. Mm -hmm. I really love them. <laughs> I, I grocery shopping today and uh, eventually decided I, I was going to have tacos eventually uh -huh. this week. I love tacos. So, yeah. I'm... Because we still had some of these corn tortillas mm -hmm. uh, lying around. Mm -hmm. So I just bought some ground beef, paprika, avocado. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have some. I, uh, but... I, I've never been a big fan of spicy food, but I absolutely love spicy tacos. That's like, when it comes to Mexican food, I'm like, yes, give me the spice. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I wish I could handle the spicy I mean, stuff a bit better. I, I guess there's different forms of spices. You know, the, you have spicy as in, it just hurts. And right. And you have spicy as in, oh, that's, that's well, yeah, interesting no, never... because it gives a different flavor profile. I've never been a big fan of, like, super hot spicy, just because mm -hmm. there comes a point where you're not even tasting anything, it's just... Exactly. Like, exactly. that's... I'm like, no, I want to it's taste it. It's just pain. Know. It yeah. tastes like pain. Yeah. But, uh, but like, yeah. I mean, just, like, in general, like, you know, again, like, I like spicy tacos. Sometimes people like to say, like, put, um... People like to put, like, jalapeno on pizza. I don't really mm -hmm. like that on pizza. I'm like, no, I, I don't want a spicy pizza, but jalapeno on a taco. Oh, yeah, sure, I love it in a taco. You know, it just... It just depends on what it's in, you know? There's actually a something of an, I'd call it an Americanism that I don't understand that I would like you to explain to me. What? So, um, you know how basically the sausage that you put on pizza? Yes. Salami. Um, but for some reason, you call it pepperoni. It's because salami in America, um, we have like our own salami, which is less spicy than pepperoni. Mm. It's like a mild pepperoni, although my pepperoni in itself isn't all that spicy either. But it's like a very mild pepperoni, and generally salami is cut in larger um, slices. Yeah, 
Wait, so it is a different sausage altogether? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's a oh. it's it's like pepperoni, but it's a little bit less spicy and it's and it's bigger. Because I'm pretty sure that Italian pizzas pizzas with salami. Yes. So yeah. the whole pepperoni thing was also an Americanism. Yeah, it's kind of like how like we have we call football soccer because we have another game that we also call football, which is kind of funny because football is for us American football is the game Rock where the British. <laughs> well yeah but no it's it's the it's the it's the game where you are supposed to use your hands but then yeah. the 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 foot the game that we call soccer which is called football everywhere else is the one where you're only supposed to use your feet it's it's weird mm-hmm. i don't know why we didn't call soccer football it's it's odd it no is, idea. I remember being confused. Yeah, because you would think, yeah, one. soccer would be called football because the whole rule was you can only use your feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess a, a big part of being an American and having American culture is just confusing the hell out of everybody else. It, 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 you know what? I think that's probably our biggest thing. Like, you know, we've we've joked before <laughs> about like how all the, you know, everyone in our group, like, you've got people from different countries and. Like we've got mm-hmm. stereotypes from the countries, like, but what's the stereotype for America? There's not really one because it's a mixture of cultures, and I think that's it. Our our stereotype is we purposefully mix the cultures to confuse everyone. <laughs> We're in on the joke. No one else is. The like, th- ah, the thing, the thing is, you mix it to the point that even like the original, the the culture that that uh, the whole American uh, demographic originated from doesn't even recognize no. it anymore as no. anything that had wants to, to do anything with their culture. <laughs> it's there's, just, you're confusing even the originators from the culture. There's a very funny it's... joke uh, from an early episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000, which is uh, the show I was talking about before, like they would rip, they mm-hmm. watch bad movies mm-hmm. to rip them. And yep. uh, part of the frame device was that it was supposed to be like this experiment. Uh, so like in between the bits of the movie, they would, like, leave the theater and they'd do, like, this funny little sketch, you know, like, in character and stuff. And, um, one of the sketches, the movie they're watching takes place in Mexico. So they do a sketch where they're supposed to be teaching you, um, Spanish, but they're just making it up. They're, they're just coming up with nonsense or they're saying things like, you know, they don't actually speak Spanish, so all they know is, like, taco, taco, burrito and stuff. But, like, they're putting... Oh, gosh. But they're putting subtitles that clearly are not what that means and Mm -hmm. um eventually one of the guys says something like okay um i've had my fun here but um but i'm getting kind of tired it's like is is this entire sketch just going to be nothing more than taking (laughs) than taking um mexican uh, taking spanish expressions and turning them into a goof that's no that's right the whole bit is they're coming up with silly with silly new Mexican foods. And so it's like, um, uh, gosh, it's like, um, like for instance, one of the three, one of the three stooges, one of the guys who later joined the three stooges was named Curly Joe Dorita. And, uh, one of the guys says, I'm creating the, for three stooges fans, we have the Curly Joe Dorito. And so like that, like they're just coming up with like silly Mexican food sounding things based on other words. And um, that's where one of the guys says, okay, this sketch is funny, but it's getting kind of old. Is it going to be nothing more than us just taking expressions and turning them into goofy appetizers? And the other one goes, of course we are. It's the, it's, of course it is. That's the American way. I apologize. I've been so quiet. Um, I'm going to I was just sharing. Um, a... Oh, God, that image. <gasps> We're gonna have to censor that. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, so I was, yeah. I was like, damn. No, we, what, no, no, why would no, we need no, to censor not, that? Not damn. I, I wait, just like glanced over. I don't know. I just like no, don't. no. Uh, it looks, no, but it looks wait, nice. But why that, would we? Why, why would we need to censor that? No, no, like what, it doesn't you, show no, anything no, explicit. Cen- censoring what you said, dude, and also what both me and Matt said. Wait, what did I say? Did I say I, something? I think I think we may have said something that was like a little too crude for our, our usual show. Yeah. Like nothing serious. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, wait, what? Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm confused. Sorry. Yeah, don't worry but about I'm, it. You, I'm just staring at this image and I'm like, excuse me, what? Like, I see ear, an ear is missing, or like the, the whole thing. 
when he is supposed to be is gone. Also notice, and the legs are fused together. Yeah, the, are le they? the legs are yeah. fused. I, I saw that. One. I wasn't able to look at it because I'm playing the game, so I just like glanced yeah. over. So like it really was like a, again, the Mystery Science Theater 3000 joke. Seems like a nice oh my guy at God. first. Yeah. Jess, Jess. Hey, darn it. Yeah. I'm gonna die. Her, I'm gonna die, guys. The wrong this way. is not good. Whoa, what the? Okay, I tried, ah! to zoom, I tried to zoom into the image and... Oh, wait, okay, there we go, there we go. But yeah, her feet are the wrong way around. Yeah, <laughs> and and her, her naked little bunny feet have heels. Naked little bunny feet? Naked little bunny feet. Her naked little bunny feet have heels on them. <laughs> wait, she, I don't see feet, I see shoes. They're what not supposed see? to be shoes, they're supposed to be bare feet. Oh! And look at her hand! Wait. I'm guessing this is another one of those uh, AI-generated monsters. Yes! It's supposed to be Lola Bunny, but she... I'm, I mean, the hand doesn't look bad. No, it, no, it does! <laughs> That's the one good thing we can say about no, it. No, the hand is awful! The hand doesn't terrify me. That's also, right. she's got like a slight scar on her lip or whatever. <laughs> and one of her bra straps doesn't even connect to the other part of the bra. It just goes <laughs> in between her boobs. <laughs> Oh yeah, and right. one of her, Jesus. yeah, one of her shoulders is up higher than the other, like she's some sort of hunchback or something. Yeah. She, also, she... I, I think I just realized what you mean. She has like little, like noopsies on her fi on her fingers noopsies? on her knuckles. Yes. It's like noopsies. That's ha weird. Her hair tie makes no sense. She's missing eyeshadow on one of her eyes. This and... must be so confusing for the audience because they have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> I was, I was wondering if I should like. Put the picture up so people can compare. But you know what? Now that you've said that, I think it's funnier that they don't get to see it. They're just left like, what the heck is just going like, what on? What the hell are these people talking about? Just, okay, the play just, stalkers are losing their minds again. We just, yeah. just trust us, just, fellas. You don't want to see it. Just just okay, ranting okay, okay, for half an talk? hour over an image that they don't see. Okay, legit talk. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's really not that bad of a picture. Really? I'm just I'm just bashing it because it's AI generated art and that sort of crap is putting okay. a lot of people out of business. Okay, guys, guys, actually here's the thing. We're gonna we're gonna create a fan art challenge now for our fans, okay? <gasps> and the fan art challenge no, don't stop shoving the microphone oh, inside my mouth. It doesn't make it, it wasn't in your mouth, I, man. <laughs> my voice I have the voice of a 50 story high giant who screams constantly and i love the, it for the proper volume the microphone needs to be five miles away from me so i'm good putting it closer Aww. well folks welcome to the new asmr channel <laughs> that we're running <laughs> um what was i gonna say now i totally lost fan that. art challenge fan art challenge so based on the descriptions that you heard <laughs> jazz yes! and mcnobbits give I want you to create the image and send yes. it to us. And the the people who are the more most accurate, the ones that we like the most, they don't even have to be the most accurate, but the ones that we mm -hmm. like the most will appear in the next episode of Play Stalkers. Okay, so for for all of you, for uh, for those that didn't catch all of that, we had um, the prompt Lola Bunny. We had feet wrong way around. We had feet actually being shoes with heels. Mm -hmm. We had. Um, I think she's in underwear or she's in sportswear yeah, or something she's like that. Sportswear, but her I mean, yeah. the bra straps are visible, but one of the bra straps <laughs> isn't actually connected to the bra, which makes no sense. <laughs> it goes one of, chest, it, one yes. of her ears were missing. Except the yeah, tip of her just, ear is appearing behind ear. the other. <laughs> and she also has like this weird tiny little scar on her upper lip. <laughs> she's missing eyeshadow on one of her um, eyes. Her hand looks like an amalgamation of flesh that was attempting to become a glove. <laughs> I can't look, wait to see what guys, people create I, I gotta say, this. it does look like a hand, it just looks like the knuckles are a bit oversized. It looks like the knuckles are mashed into pudding. <laughs> Your knuckles look like they're mashed into pudding. <laughs> I mean, they can be, hang on. <laughs> 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 Okay, we definitely gotta censor that bit. No! <laughs>